All right, what it is, people? We back with another deck profile. This time we have a top 32 YCS Anaheim Jeffrey Jones Cash Terra Malice deck profile. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, and let's get into the deck profile. So we have a deck profile about one of the legends in the game, and let's get into it. Uh, 41 card main deck count. So we played three uh, Dormouse uh, Malice Link monsters that point to this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. You're gonna each you're gonna use each of the following effects of malice door mouse once per turn during your main phase you can activate this effect banish one malice monster from your deck also for the rest of this turn malice monster you control gain 600 attack if this card is banished you can pay 300 life points special summon it also you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except link monsters so we play three door mouse three white rabbit you take no damage from battles involving Malice Link monsters that point to this card. You can only use each of the following effects of Malice White Rabbit once per turn. If this card is no more special summon, you can set one Malice Trap from your deck with a different name than the cards in your graveyard. If this card is banished, you can pay 300 life points special summon. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Link monsters. Then we play an interesting, you know, choice. One Chessy Cat different from a lot of other, um, you know, deck lists. Any monster destroyed by battle with a with the link monster that points to this card is banished. You can only use each of the following effects of Malice Chessy Cat once per turn. During your main phase, you can banish one Malice card from your hand, then you can draw two cards. If this card is banished, you can pay 300 life points, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the, for the, from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except link monsters. One dot scaper, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card. If this card is banished, you can special summon it. You can special summon this card. You can only use one dot scaper effect per turn and only once that turn. You can only use each effect of dot scaper once per duel. Uh, one code of soul. If you control a link monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And during your main phase, you can activate this effect once this turn. If you link summon Salaman Great Link Monster, you can use one Salaman Great Link Monster you control with the same name as the entire material. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves, Link summon one link through a higher cybers link monster. You can only use each effect of Code of Soul once per turn. Then we play two Cash Terror Unicorns. I think the Cash Terror cards are very, very broken. I am so happy they didn't get touched because I can still play the deck, but uh, let's read them. If you control no monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use each of the following effects of Cash Terror Unicorn once per turn. During your main phase, you can add one Cash Terror spell from your deck to your hand. When this card declares an attack or if your opponent activates a monster effect, except during the damage step, you can look at your opponent's extra deck and if you do, banish one monster from it face down. So we play two unicorns, one Fenrir. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use each of the following effects to cast your Fenrir once per turn. During your main phase, you can add one cast your monster from your deck to your hand. When this card declares an attack or if your opponent activates a monster effect, except during damage step, you can target one face of card your opponent controls, banish it face down. The cash terror engine is very, very broken and I'm so happy to still see it around. Uh, three more charming Fualos. Um, basically, this card right here is just extra draw power for any deck that likes to go into the extra deck. As just like this deck right here, it really does like to link summon a lot and just link climb and very, very effective. So this card right here could definitely end turns and if your opponent would end the turn on you know by just using this card you're up in a lot of advantage so you play three of these in the main deck three ash lost and joy spring the most generic hand trap in the game when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects quick effect you could discard this card negate that effect add a card from your deck to your hand special summon from the deck send the cards from deck to the graveyard you're going to use this effect of ash lost and joy spring once per turn then we play three and three drill and lock bro i think drill was like really underrated I didn't see too many people playing it or either playing it in the main deck, which is very, very interesting, but he played three Ds in the main. If a card is added from your main deck to your opponent's hand, except during the draw phase quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard for the rest of the turn. Cannot, cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to the hand. Very, very powerful card. Then we play one Bestial Magnemite, two Bestial Drill Swarm. Then we play three of the field spell, Malice and Underground. When this card is activated, you can banish one Malice card from your hand, deck, or graveyard. While three or more Malice traps with different names are banished, Malice Link monsters, you control gain 3,000 attack. While you control a Malice Link monster, your opponent, monsters can only target Malice Link monsters for attacks. You can only activate one Malice Underground per turn. So we play three of those. One Pressure Planet Race Off. When this card is activated, you can add one Cash Share monster from your deck to your hand. Monsters you control gain 100 attack slash defense for each attribute on the field. 
If a cat tier is Shangri-La, you control activates an effect, except during the damage step, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. You can only use this effect of Pressure Planet Race Off once per turn. You can only activate one Pressure Planet per Race Off per turn. Then we play one Cash Tier Birth. I think the most broken card in the Cash Tier engine in general. You can Normal Summon level 7 monsters without tributing. Very, very powerful effect. During your main phase, you can Special Summon one of your non XE Cash Tier monsters that is vanished or in your graveyard. If your opponent activates a spell or card or effect, and you control a cash share monster, you can target three cards in your opponent's graveyard, banish them face down. You can only use each effective cash share birth once per turn. Then we play two forbidden droplet, very, very powerful spell card. Send any number of other cards from your hand and or field to the graveyard. Choose that many effect monsters your opponent controls, and until the end of this turn, their attack is halved. Also, their effects are negated in response to this card's activation. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same original type, monster slash spell slash trap, as a card sent to the graveyard to activate this card. You can only activate one forbidden droplet per turn. Then we play two triple type as talents. Basically, you know, three uh, banned cards all in one. Uh, if your opponent has activated the monster effect during your main phase, this turn, activate one of these effects, draw two cards. Take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Look at your opponent's hand and choose one card, shuffle it into the deck. You can only activate one triple attack with talents per turn. Then we play one gold star. Banish one card from your deck face up during your opponent's standby phase. After this card's activation, add that card to the hand. One terraforming, add one field spell from your deck to your hand. Three infinite impermanence. I think we all know what this card does. One GWC06, you can activate this card to turn it with set by banishing one face up Malice Monster you control. Special summon one of your Malice Monsters that is banished on your graveyard. Then if you control a Malice Link Monster, you can gain life points equal to the original attack of that Special Summon Monster. You can only activate one Malice GWC06 per turn. You, um, one MTP07, you activate this card to turn it with set by banishing one face up Malice Monster you control. Add one Malice Monster from your deck to your hand. Then if you control a Malice Link Monster, you can banish one card on the field. You can activate, only activate one Malice MTP07 per turn. Then we have the TB11. You activate this card to turn it with set by banishing one face up Malice Monster you control. Special on one Malice Monster from your deck. Or if your opponent controls three or more cards, you can special on one Malice Link Monster from your extra deck. Instead, for the rest of this turn, that summon monster cannot attack, and neither player can activate its effects. You can only activate one TB11 per turn. All right, let's look into the extra deck. Extra deck play one Hearts Cryptor. Three or more monsters, including a Malice Monster Quick Effect. You can target one of your banished ma Malice cards, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, banish one card in the field. Why this card points to a monster, this effect and its activation cannot be negated. If this card is banished, you can pay 900 life points, special summon it. And double this attack. You can only use each effect of Malice Heart's Crypto once per turn. Then we play one Red Ransom. While this card points to a monster, the original attack and defense of all effect monsters your opponent control are switched. You can only use each of the following effects of Malice Red Ransom once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can add one Malice Spell from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished, you can pay 900 life points special summon it. Then you can banish one Cyberus monster from your deck. One white binder in the extra deck. If this card is special summoned, you can target up three cards in any graveyard, banish them. During your main phase, you can set one malice trap from your deck to the or graveyard. If this card is banished, you pay 900 life points, special, special summon it, then draw one card. Very, very broken. You can only use each effect of malice white binder once per turn. Uh, one link decoder. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a cyber link monster with 2300 or more original attack, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Link Decoder once per turn. One Firewall Dragon. Once while face up on the field, quick effect. You can target monsters on the field and over graveyard to the number of monsters co linked to this card. Return them to the hand. If a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Cyberus monster from your hand. You can only use each effect of Firewall Dragon once per turn. Then we have the Neo Tempest Terahertz. Negate any monster effects activated by your opponent during the battle phase. Quick effect, you can send one Cyberus monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, and if you do, this card gains the attribute of that monster sent to the graveyard. Also, it gains 2500 attack. You can only use this effect of Firewall Dragon, Dark Fluid, Neo Temp Tempest Terahertz once per turn. This card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase, up to the number of different attributes it has. Then we play one Link Spider, one Splash Mage. One access code, this card is very, very broken in this deck because you can banish the Malice Monsters and then pay life once to summon them back and just go for game. Uh, 
uh, one Lingarivo, one IP Mascarena, one SP Little Knight, one Haggard Lizardos, one Cyburst Deathworm, and one Meteorologic Aggregator. It's going to the side deck. Side deck, we played three Artifact Lancia, basically stops anything from being banished. Then we play three dimensional shifter, stops anything from going to the graveyard, and then becomes banished. Total opposite. One call by the grave. One ultimate slayer. Very, very powerful card. One tri two triple tactics thrust. Uh, two dominus impulse. If your opponent controls a card, you can activate this card from your hand. When a card effect is activated, that includes an effect that special summons a monster and negate that effect. Then if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. If you activated this card from your hand, you can activate the effects of light, earth, and win for the rest of this turn during the duel. You're going to activate one Dominus Impulse per turn, and then three uh, Dimensional Barrier for the end of deck profile and a side deck. So, yeah, so shout out to Jeff Jones. I mean, he did his thing top 32. I wish he probably would have won the whole thing because I wanted this deck to win the whole event. But you never know. YCS Orlando is around the corner. But this is your boy, Ivory Yu Gi Oh! Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share the videos. 